Hello. In this video, I would like to focus on a popular tool used for probing older electronic chips, DIP clips. DIP stands for Dual Inline Package. Even though DIP is not used anymore in new electronic designs, the clips for DIP are still available for purchase on auction portal portals as, for example, eBay. I would like to have a collection of these clips of various lengths to be able to probe and test uh, DIP ICs present in various old electronic devices which I come across and I would like to repair. However, if I would like to build a collection of these clips, I could probably easily spend around $100 or even more, or equivalent of that in some other currency, which would not be ideal as these clips are not exactly essential. They're nice to have uh, to avoid a mess of wires and intermittent connections to a test equipment, but they're not exactly essential. So today I would like to take a look at what kinds of dip clips are still available on eBay how they are built, how they work. And then maybe I would take a look at what open source dip clip projects are out there. Maybe build a few of them to see uh, if they are any good, if they will work for me. And if I will not be able to find anything interesting, then maybe I will design my own version of clip. So let's start with looking at what is still available on eBay. On eBay I was able to find three major vendors of clips, Pomona Electronics, AP Instruments and 3M. AP and 3M are very similar, in fact they seem like the same product rebranded by one of the companies. Which one actually is making these and which one only puts their brand on them I was not able to find out. These clips have visible pin contacts, which I guess have to be appropriately springy to maintain good contact to the IC pins. Plastic trapezoidal contact dividers make it easy to clip on the IC, as it's easy to insert this clip between the IC pins, and it's self-centering the contacts on the pins. All clips have a metal spring, which provides a tension for the clip. Shorter clips have one spring, while longer ones have two, for better contact on the entire length of the clip. Some of them have these funny nail-like pinheads, added probably to avoid slipping on the probes connected to the clip pins. Pomona ones are a bit different. IC contacts are not visible and when the clip is put on the IC, the contacts are pressed against the plastic body of the clip from one side and the IC leg on the other. This creates appropriate contact between the clip and the IC pins. Pomona ones also have this cool looking grooved surface on the contacts and pins to provide a better contact and prevent slipping of connected probes on the metal surface of the pin. I was able to find many different clip sizes and probably I could build a nice collection of these tools. But the prices for new ones, or like new ones, are discouraging. Let's search for open source clip projects. So I was able to find two open source clip projects. This one is a bit similar to AP and 3M clips. And the other one is invented totally from scratch, I guess. Totally new and different approach. I think I will try to build one example of each of these and I will test them to see how these designs are performing on the real PCBs. Here I have the first clip. It wasn't as easy to build it as it looked at the first sight. 
Generally the problems were related to holes which were designed to make it possible to insert contact pins and wires. Basically the holes in my print were clogged with plastic, but maybe it was a problem of print settings. I tried to reduce the flow, but I don't see a huge improvement. For IC contacts it uses pins from a plain 2.54mm pin header. I have pressed them using a hot soldering iron. It worked, but it's not ideal. So let's see how this clip is performing. Definitely one of the pros is that it has very good contact to the IC pins, thanks to quite a large force exercise on the IC, and relatively sharp contact pins. It's also very nice that it requires only minimal assembly. This is a fine example of a good design for 3D printing. A single object with no moving parts exploiting properties of a material to get spring-like action. Minimal assembly required. Nice. One bad thing though is lack of any contact dividers. It's very easy for this clip to fall off the IC pins and basically short the pins, which of course could be catastrophic for a probe IC. So it requires a lot of carefulness when clipping it on and doing anything around it when it's clipped on the IC. So here I want to verify if there is actually good contact uh, between the IC legs and uh, clip pins using a uh, multimeter in uh, continuity mode. Second clip project. I did only partial assembly of it, but it's enough to test it. This is a two-part print with a metal spring to provide clip with tension. For contacts, author recommended gold-plated jewelry pins called flathead pins. I was not able to find them at first, so I have used a gold-plated wire. This wire is not ideal, it's too stiff and a bit too thin, but it works. So this clip is a self-centering, has plastic divisors between contacts and it will not short the IC pins under any circumstances. It's a really nice project, but as the first one, they both have the same problem. As they are rather thick on the IC contact ends, they will not fit into densely populated PCBs where there is very little space between ICs. As I was not able to find any open source project which I would like to build as an entire series of clips, I decided to try and design my own clip. For me to design such a tool it's best to do it around a 3D model of a particular IC. To get 3D models of various ICs I usually go to GrabCut community website and usually I am able to find all 3D models for all popular IC packages. This is the design that I come up with. It's similar to Pomona one, as I did not have anything which could work well as very springy contacts found in the 3M type clip. The clip has contact divisors and uh, channels to insert contact elements in. 
Metal spring is used to provide tension and it also requires a rod or a screw to use as axis for two parts of the clip. I also tried to make it as slim as possible to make it work on densely populated boards. Print and assemble first test clip. To print plastic parts of the clip, I am using PETG with carbon fiber filament, so called PETG CF. I really recommend this material to everyone who would like to build this project. It's really easy to print with it without a closed chamber, it's light, durable, and forgiving. Let's prepare the contacts. As recommended in second open source project which I have tested, I was finally able to find these gold-plated flathead jewelry pins. These are 0.7mm 21 gauge brass gold-plated pins. You can find them on AliExpress. They cost an equivalent of 7 bucks per 100 pieces. To achieve better contact of the clip with IC pins, I decided to slightly flatten the pins from one side before mounting them in the clip. The problem with these pins is that they are a bit too soft and will permanently change shape when bent with too much of a force. Spring action is not ideal, but it's still there. Here you will see a footage from assembly of a few different clips, but they do not differ much from each other. As an axis of the clip I am using M2.5 screw and spring dimensions are 8mm external diameter, 26mm length and 0. 0.8 mm wire. in the print are very thin and they've seemed very fragile, so I have reinforced them with a drop of a super glue to make them more durable.
crucial to bend the flattened pins just a little bit to give them a bit of a spring action and also make sure that they are actually moving freely in their little slots. Now let's test it by clipping it on the IC and checking continuity between IC and the clip pins. success. All of the pins have got contacts to the IC. So that's basically it for this video. I'm pretty happy with the design that I come up with. The clips are working well. The contacts could be a bit more stiff and more springy, but it still works quite nice. The slim shape of the clip allows me also to clip on the ICs in densely populated spaces where I would not be able to use other clips tested before. I will put all of the 3D models on printables.com, link will be in video description. I will probably use my new clips quite soon in one of the next videos. Thanks for watching and bye bye!